So the question of how architecture is different to engineering is somewhat of a hot topic. And I think this is because this question gets interpreted as is architecture better than engineering or vice versa? But I think it's a bit silly to compare both of these professions like that because both of them play really vital roles in the construction process. So this is exactly why I decided to make this video to look how architecture is different to engineering. And just for clarity as well, I'll be comparing architecture to structural engineering. So the first thing to consider when comparing the two professions is the approach to design. Let's kind of zoom out a little bit and look at the whole process in its entirety. Now, in any building, there's a wide array of people who are involved in the process. There's the client, of course, who needs the building. There's a contractor who is going to build the building. And then there is design team who are the people who will design the building. And in that design sits the engineer architect, landscape architect, interior designer, graphic designers, all of these professions that basically get design of the building right and also oversee the construction. So on a very high level, architect's job in the construction process is to make complexity simple. It's to be this tying tissue between different stakeholders like the contractor, engineers, design team and the client. It's to be able to take the client brief, translate it into building and ultimately get the building delivered and built on site. And that's why they need to know quite a lot about all of these different professions that go into it. And they typically need to have good leadership, listening and creative skills to be able to interpret all of these things and get the building delivered. Engineers, on the other hand, are specialists and they are the ones who are going to actually go and figure out how the whole thing is going to be put together. So it's a really critical role because it's all about making sure that the selection of materials the ground conditions, the materiality of the structure and the various loads and forces that go into it are all considered and the whole thing just doesn't collapse one day. But it also goes beyond that because ultimately one can argue that you can kind of make any structure work as long as you put enough stuff into it. So the engineer's job is really to make sure that not only does the building work but it also performs in the most efficient way possible so that the cost and the expectations of the client and the project team are not exceeded. And this is where experienced engineers are really good because they know the difference between what's practical and what's overkill when it comes to structural design. So there's also an overlap between the two professions, like good architects usually will know a bit about structure so that when their proposals are drawn up, it will take account of those structural elements that need to be accommodated within the building. And likewise, the good engineers will have a common sense approach and creativity to be adaptable to design process due to different things that are outside their control, like architects changes, clients changes, and also design evolution. So another way to look at these two professions is actually by looking at the example of this bad boy over here, which is an iPad. And with the iPad, it's quite interesting because the same kind of processes go into the tech development as they do in development of the building. So when it comes to iPad and electronics, the stuff that you see on the outside, like the user interface, the shape of the object and different workflows that can be accommodated in that, these are all things that are considered by designers who are the front end developers. And then everything that's on the background that's not seen is the back end. And this is where the engineers are going into. They develop the code, the software, and also processor and all the little bits and pieces that go inside the equipment itself to make it work. And so one cannot exist without another. So architecture cannot exist without engineering because architecture without engineering is a bit like a pipe dream. It's just not realistic and it's never going to be built. Whereas engineering without architecture or design is going to be complex <laughs> and unusable. So this is where the integration of both is essential for or a product or a service or a building to work is when the two professions are working close together that the best results really come. So the next thing is the design process. Now, contrary to what people say online, engineering is actually quite creative profession, in my opinion, because fundamentally engineering is about problem solving and it's also about the adaptability to certain situations. Engineers, they need to be quite deliberate in how they choose materiality and structure so that it's suited to specific circumstances. And they also have to be adaptable and accepting that things change, design develops and people change their minds. And when it comes to architecture, 
architecture, the design process is, involves even more uncertainty because um, architects are the people who need to take the client brief and they have to translate these needs into something that's going to work for the client and ideally also have some kind of spin on design so that the building is not just purely functional thing but there's some sort of delight that you know people are interested and they want to go into that building and they want to live there or they want to work there which is really essential for the overall well-being of the users and I think this is where the rational and the creative have to be working together quite closely when it comes to these both professions because what we want to achieve at the end is the integrated product the building so I think asking if engineering is better than architecture is a bit of an imprecise question because it's a bit like asking whether a medical doctor is better than a um, cancer researcher, for example. Like, they're not really comparable, they're useful in different ways and they're both vital. The question which one is better than the other is more of a personal question for you <laughs> if you're trying to choose one profession or another. Um, it's about your personal interests and curiosities and perhaps a little bit about how your brain is wired you know are you more rational and technical kind of person who is interested in the mechanics of the world then perhaps the engineering is for you and if you're a bit more curious and kind of like a shape making and form and design and aesthetics of the things then maybe architecture is more suited for you so if you enjoyed this video I suggest you to check out other videos on my channel and I make loads of videos on architecture and creativity process so if that's something that's interesting to you then and check those videos out and I'll see you in the next one.